Place chocks each side of the front wheel diagonally opposite to the one being removed. Using the special anti-theft wheel bolt adapter where necessary, slacken each of the wheel nuts half a turn. Position the jack head under the reinforced section of the door sill flange. Then raise the vehicle until the wheel is clear of the ground. Support the vehicle with an axle stand under the rear subframe front mounting. Fully unscrew the wheel nuts and remove the wheel. Hold the guide pin with an open-ended spanner, then undo the lower retaining bolt. Unclip the brake hose, then pivot the caliper upwards and tie it to the suspension strut. Prise the outer brake pad from the mounting bracket, followed by the inner pad. Remove the lower shim from the bracket and the upper shim. Measure the thickness of the pad friction material. If any pad is worn down to 2mm or less, all four rear brake pads must be renewed. If the pads are to be reused, clean them using brake cleaner and a brush. Clean the upper and lower shims in the same manner. Use the brush and brake cleaner to remove dirt and debris from the caliper and mounting bracket. If new pads are to be fitted, the piston must be pushed fully back into the caliper body. Ideally, this should be done using a piston retraction tool, although a G-clamp will suffice. Keep an eye on the fluid level in the reservoir as the piston is retracted. If necessary, remove any excess fluid with a syringe. Refit the lower and upper shims, pressing them firmly into place. Fit the inner and outer brake pads between the shims, ensuring the friction material is against the disc face. Lower the caliper into place. Then fit the guide pin bolt and tighten it to the specified torque. Counter hold the guide pin with a second spanner. Clip the brake hose grommet into the bracket. Repeatedly depress the brake pedal to bring the pads into full contact with the disc. Repeat this procedure on the remaining rear brake. Apply a little anti-seize grease to the hub collar. Locate the wheel over the hub studs, then refit and lightly tighten the wheel nuts. Remove the axle stand and lower the vehicle to the ground. Tighten the wheel nuts to the specified torque. Open the passenger's door and pull the bonnet release handle. Open the bonnet slightly, then lift the safety catch lever and fully open the bonnet. The brake and clutch fluid reservoir is located under a cover at the rear of the engine compartment. Release the clip and remove the cover from the scuttle panel. Wipe clean the area around the filler cap, then unscrew it. The maximum and minimum level marks are visible once the cap is removed. The fluid level must be kept between the marks at all times. If necessary, add new DOT4 fluid from a sealed container to bring the level up to the maximum mark. Mop up any spilled fluid and securely refit the cap. Refit the cover. Close the bonnet firmly and check it secure.